Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another video. In this update, we're going to be talking about a huge snowstorm coming up for the Mid-Atlantic as well as the Northeast by midweek. So before we do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload about five videos a week to keep you updated. And I do ask you to share this video with your friends and family on social media. All right, so let's get started here. Let's take a look at the 500 millibar on Tuesday evening. Now we've got a pretty good snowstorm going on in uh, Oklahoma City right now. There's gonna be another one coming up on Tuesday. And this is what the upper level pattern is going to look like by then. And this is the storm that's going to be racing off to the northeast. That's going to bring the huge snowstorm by midweek on Wednesday and Thursday for the Mid-Atlantic as well as the northeast. So let's get right into it. Uh, let's move on to the overall surface map by uh, noon on Wednesday and you can see that snowfall is really starting to break out in central and southern Indiana as well as pretty much all of Ohio with the you know one to two inches of snow getting into uh, West Virginia as well as the uh, northern uh, Virginia and getting into southern PA but a lot of rain is on the the south side as this low continues to track eastward and this will eventually get off the coast and really start getting its act together dumping some frigid air to the north and we'll make a tr huge transition with some very heavy snowfall amounts uh, coming up on especially Wednesday night. Now there's a there's a transition stage. There's a lot of moisture coming in. You're talking one to two inches of liquid precipitation and we're, the process is going to be known as dynamic cooling is going to take place in the upper levels. And I think we're going to make a transition over to all snow, if not a very heavy snow, by Wednesday evening in uh, northern portions of uh, West Virginia, getting into uh, Pennsylvania, especially getting into uh, central and southern Pennsylvania by then. Uh, and as this low really starts to move off to the northeast there's going to be a time frame where you could easily see two to three inch snowfall rates per hour this would be overnight coming up on wednesday evening getting into the early parts of thursday morning so a lot of you guys are gonna be going to bed on a wednesday and wake up with a winter wonderland when you wake up on thursday morning and as this continues to move off look this is what it would look like by midnight coming up on wednesday evening and you can see where these darker blues and i think that's where that dynamic cooling is really going to start to take place and really start to get some of those extreme uh snowfall rates uh per hour i'm thinking two to three inches uh starting to if not blizzard like conditions uh, coming up by then into uh, southern southern PA, especially into central PA, where I think that could be somewhat of a bullseye. Now, of course, this is you know still three or four days out, but along the coast, uh, you know, getting into uh, you know even to, into Boston area, uh, you know, getting into uh, Connecticut and Rhode Island, and as this makes the transition into uh, northern New Jersey, into Pennsylvania, and into New York, it'll be dumping some very heavy snow so i do see some pretty uh healthy amounts coming up on wednesday and thursday this would have been look like by thursday morning and a lot of the areas where you'll still be getting those pretty heavy snowfall rates so you're talking a good anywhere from uh, 12 to 24 hours of some very uh, heavy snow getting trapped as this low just kind of hangs out off offshore well enough offshore to dump the snow just not inland but a lot of the along the coast so a lot of these areas like philly i mean i'll be going over the snowfall totals here in a little bit but man i think in philly gets almost a foot of snow so that's going to be almost unheard of from what you've experienced you know last all of last year so uh that could be one of your one of your top five snowfalls and in, uh, in december and as this transitions into uh, connecticut and uh, rhode island getting into southern portions of vermont and new hampshire as this low continues to move off to the east but i'm thinking almost blizzard like conditions so i would not be surprised if we have blizzard watches and warnings uh, being issued over the next day or two for the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast because here by Thursday morning, 
these are the maximum wind gusts of what you're looking at and you only need about 35 miles an hour over a three hour time frame to initiate blizzard like conditions and i do think that would come to fruition uh pretty much and uh you know good chunk of uh, new jersey uh rhode island getting into uh, connecticut so basically a lot a lot along the coast eastern parts of uh, pennsylvania so i yeah i would not be surprised if a, a, a blizzard watch gets issued uh for this area uh for uh wednesday wednesday evening into uh thursday morning as you know with these you know one to two if not almost three inch snowfall rates are going to be happening by then and then on top of the the wind and the blowing snow that's going to be happening it's going to be almost uh somewhat crippling to even get around and in in those con those conditions uh coming up on uh, thursday morning but as this kind of transitions and continues to move off to the north and northeast by uh midday thursday we're still seeing some of those pretty pretty heavier snow amounts making the transition into northern uh, Connecticut by then, uh, southern southern New Hampshire and Vermont getting this into southern Maine. So uh, a lot of the areas where you've seen a lot of snow in the interior portions, this is going to be mainly along the coast where a lot of you guys have been kind of craving for some snowfall and i think you're going to get this in, in a big way from areas that just hasn't seen much snowfall and this will make the transition into boston going into the southern south of uh, maine by then and this will be a uh, thursday evening so there's going to be a, a you know a two-day event from wednesday to thursday so now let's go over uh, some of the snowfall totals and so we'll back it up go over uh, ohio and kind of make our way up uh, northeast so here's the preliminary where it's just kind of getting its act together uh pretty much widespread and uh let me just take my picture off so you can actually see this about yeah widespread of maybe one to two inches two inches in cincinnati one 1 1.5 in columbus ohio so this will kind of give you an idea dayton 1.9 richmond uh mansfield so uh canton you know a good solid you know one to two inches pretty much over portions of uh, indiana and ohio as this kind of swings up 2.6 inches and uh pittsburgh now these are kind of a little bit preliminary snowfall totals but uh these have been fairly accurate over the last uh, several runs and as we make the transition further south into uh, Virginia, northern parts of, like, say, Roanoke, Virginia, getting into, what, Charleston 2.7. Uh, you know, as this makes the transition, I mean, Harrisburg, look that, look, check that out. You know, almost a foot of snow in Harrisburg and then four inches, uh, so even four inches of snow and uh, DC coming up for you guys on a Wednesday into Thursday. So as we kind of make our way up further northward now, that's when I think where that dynamic cooling is really going to set the stage. We're going to have a lot of moisture coming up I and mean, we're talking one to two inches of rain. So a lot of that will be making a transition over to snow. And, you know, 10 to 1 ratios is a pretty good bet. So I would not be surprised, you know, places like uh, Baltimore, 8, eight inches, York, uh, 17 inches, South Bel Air, almost a foot, you know, Hag Hagerstown, 20 inches, uh, Wichester, you know, 19 inches, Cumberland, almost a foot. So just kind of give you an idea of the, the transition zone in, in Indianapolis of just two inches where there's going to be a quick demarcation line of, you know, almost har hardly anything to the south. And where that transition takes place, definitely some some very heavy snow amounts as we uh, progress upward. So now let's continue further up to the coast. Uh, uh, Stratton, 19 inches. Binghamton, 11 inches. Look at Philly, almost a foot of snow. So, man, that is just going to be some some welcome snow for you guys. Uh, Wilmington, 7 inches. Reading, uh, you know, 15 inches. So this will kind of give you an idea of what uh, we're kind of uh, initial what we're expecting in uh, the mid-atlantic as well as the northeast now let's continue further up and we'll, now we'll start to see some of those even uh, heavier snow amounts where i do think there's going to be a pocket of a one to two two feet of snow i'm looking at almost 15 inches in new york city yorker 16 inches uh bridgeport 17 inches uh water waterburger i mean uh, waterbury 18 inches hartford uh, you know 15 inches so as we move up the coast providence rhode island 13 inches worcester almost a foot 
getting into Boston almost a foot. So don't take these almost, you know, verbatim, but that just kind of gives you an idea of these preliminary initial estimates of what we're kind of seeing for this report. Uh, you know, five inches getting into Albany. So some definitely some heavier snow amounts, Dover two inches. So as this, we kind of keep con moving up the coast, now it'll kind of peter itself out so these snow amounts in maine aren't going to be nearly as oppressive say almost one inch as this slow continues uh to move off the coast and, and takes a lot of the moisture with it you know 1.2 inches in uh, portland but even on the back side where they're going to have a lot of colder air coming into southeast canada uh, even Quebec gets into the ashen of almost five inches. So that'll kind of give you an idea of what's happening coming up for this huge snow event uh, for you guys on uh, you know Wednesday and Thursday for the Mid-Atlantic as well as the Northeast. So I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, do like this video. Uh, definitely leave your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch the latest update where I protect you before and after the storm.